Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another news video. We got a couple new DC Multiverse figures to talk about, along with some new superpowers as well. For the most part, everything we're going to be talking about here was revealed in some way, shape, or form at San Diego Comic-Con, except for one, which is pretty cool to talk about. But as always, for those of you interested in anything you see here, we'll have affiliate links down in the description below, or if applicable, they'll pop up right on the screen and you can click it, it'll take you to Target and whatever else. So with DC Multiverse, just to kind of kick it off, these, this doesn't do it for me, this is just not a figure for me. Wasn't a big fan of the video game either, Injustice 2, we have Injustice Superman, I don't think it looks very good, I think the head portrait is all off. Say what you will about the costume, I'm sure that that's fairly accurate but it looks like he's wearing a toupee and he has a giant forehead so the sculpt just did not come out uh, looking pretty good that's all i'm gonna say but here he is all packaged up and if you like it uh, you can go ahead and pre-order it along with the injustice 2 brainiac now this is the other opposite end of the spectrum for me because i actually like the way this looks in my head if you say, what is Brainiac? What does Brainiac look like? Go ahead and draw him. Superman the Animated Series kind of comes up, even though that was their own take on Brainiac. But if you want a comic booky Brainiac, the original, let's say, Golden Age, Silver Age Brainiac with the short shorts, no, that's not for me. This is what I really think about with Brainiac. Unfortunately, the tentacles that are able to be removed from his back, which is nice, are not bendy wire. They're just pre-posed to kind of go and coil around him. They look okay. I kind of prefer it without the tentacles, to be honest with you. I think uh, that's a nice choice that you can remove them. But as he is, with the little purple accents, with the green, while it is, yes, based off Injustice 2, yeah, that's, that's pretty much a close thought in my head, at least, to a armored... Brainiac, and I think that he can actually pose a threat to the Superman on your shelves. And just to quickly touch on this Supergirl, this is a Target exclusive gold label. There's really not any other photos out besides those that were taken with a potato phone, right? Just saying. But yes, expect a pre order for her to go up fairly soon. Maybe even expect a variant in the vein of the CW type Supergirl for this. And if you're wondering, yes, the boots don't go all the way up. There is some skin at some point, and I hate that I have to say that. Just relax on all that stuff. Love that she has a cloth cape, just saying. So again, real quick, I think she looks like an awesome Supergirl. Looking forward to this figure. Moving on to superpowers, which is gonna be primarily what we're talking about today. I got some new additions, right, to the old collection. First and foremost, we have a new vehicle, the Whirly Bat, Batman's aerial pursuit copter. <laughs> Looks pretty good, right? I like that it has a little form, a little function to it. It seats one figure. It's very much superpowers, and uh, I definitely appreciate it for that. Comes in many different pieces, so you have to assemble it yourself. It's just awesome. It's classic looking. It looks like it has a little sticker sheets right there on the front for the control panel. I totally dig that. And then if you look at the box, right, which has that awesome box artwork, if you go in and, and read it, it has uh, spinning rotor blades. And, of course, like I said, it seats one figure. So, uh, yeah, the Whirly Bat is definitely awesome. Totally dig that. Now, with the newest wave of Superpowers figures, this, you could largely call it the repaint wave. Wish there was at least a few more newer characters in this because we're getting a new Flash, which, hey, that's totally fine. Like I said, it does have a different color scheme. It doesn't have a new head portrait, so he has the chin strap. This is based off of the Flash, Opposites Attract. I like the darker color scheme, don't get me wrong, but this is one that I'm like, yeah, it's just a repaint, or as we can all say now, a different colorway, right? Call it whatever you want, right? I go back and forth, it doesn't really matter. Superman is getting a new figure. Of course, this is Superman Reborn. Doesn't do much for me, except for the cape. That's a cool cape, it's an updated cape, and it has the yellow S on there, so this is one where I'm looking at it going, Probably gonna get that for the cape. <laughs> Put it on my 
other Superman. To be honest with you, I think they need to kind of go back with Superman across the board, right? Even for DC Multiverse. And give us a new Superman and a new superpowers Superman because, yeah, the head portrait and whatnot just doesn't work on this. But like I said, if you like it, yeah, Superman Reborn. This is an interesting one. This is one where you kind of look at the Batman who laughs and you go, okay, well, yeah, this kind of fits. They're trying to put in some new characters, which I don't mind here and there. Of course, with superpowers, it makes it interesting. But Thomas Wayne, Flashpoint Batman, it doesn't really work because he doesn't have the guns or the weapons. That That's Thomas Wayne Batman, right? That's what kind of differentiates him. He doesn't even have open hands to hold anything right he just has fisted hands there's sculpted gun holsters on the side but you can't put any guns in because they're sculpted shut so it's kind of a bummer he does have a cloth cape this is one where again it's like i, I appreciate the effort but maybe let's hold off on on this one when we can actually go the whole nine yards right so Nightwing, this is one I'm definitely interested in. Definitely one that I hope joins the DC Multiverse, right? Wouldn't that be cool? 90s Nightwing looks pretty cool. Doesn't have the more mullety style that I would have preferred for a 90s Nightwing. You know, it's, uh, it's a bit of a repaint again, right? And they just kind of kept the old one and, and did this. That would have been kind of cool to have a moldy Nightwing. Heck, do a moldy Superman. That would be awesome as well, even in the DC multiverse line. But yeah, a bit of a recolor for the artwork to better match. You know what? This one, I'm just going to say thanks and, and move on with my days. <laughs> now, this is kind of in the same boat, but at the same time, I totally see... What they're going for now if you like the old kenner batman returns figures with that robin this is pretty cool and i prefer this paint job i don't prefer the cape that's for sure it's black when <laughs> see that's what i mean though maybe you could take this black cape you take the yellow cape from the last robin release and then you could glue them together and then you have an appropriately styled cape right so just keep that in mind Otherwise, I like the colors on this, but the cape just doesn't do it for me. So again, with certain McFarlane toys, it's five steps forward, ten steps back, right? And I wish that they would just put in the little bit of effort it takes to make these more accurate. But this Batman, however, more of the Kenner, very much Batman Returns Batman, at least in the coloring, right? Sculpting and whatnot, it's kind of a repaint, but... I think it looks great. I actually really like the way that this looks. I like the cape. I think this is a knockout. Also, with that Robin, see, if that Robin we just talked about had the appropriate cape, which, hey, you can always find a cape somewhere, right? It's a nice little update in Superpowers lore. So, I definitely dig these two. I definitely appreciate the Nightwing. I like what they were trying to do there. Is it the whole shebang? Uh, it's just all these kind of falter here and there right little things but this batman overall is pretty solid however that being said so you got all the singles right now we got a three pack and this is rad so obviously with the success of peacemaker we're getting a peacemaker three pack but it's all the classic colors and designs and they really did it there's really no problemos here Minus weapons, right? But there is an open hand on Peacemaker. Just keep that in mind. So if you got weapons, Toy Biz Punisher, just saying, maybe you can make it happen. Peacemaker looks great. He's got the blues, the reds. He's got the toilet bowl on his head. Knockout. They absolutely nailed it. That looks fantastic. Judo Master looks fantastic. That is freaking rad. It's pretty rad they even went with that costume, right? The colors and everything else. That's, that's pretty darn cool. And then you have Vigilante, which... Yeah, that totally matches the Peacemaker show as well. Judo Master obviously had a different costume, but Vigilante looks stellar. That is awesome. Totally dig it. Again, I really wish that he had an open hand so you could give him a few weapons if you got him laying around, right? But it's just an awesome pack. And the packaging itself is awesome. That is a retro throwback right there. All three, I do wish they would have thrown in some accessories. Somehow, some way, something 
would have been nice. It's just three figures. But like I said, very cool, nice retro throwback. So there are some good things. There's some, yeah, you know, here and there. It's typical when we talk about these things. But hey, there's something for everyone. And there's someone out there that's going to like something you don't like. I know, mind-blowing, right? So that will wrap it up for my quick look at all of the new upcoming figures. And I just want to say, have a excellent holiday. If I don't talk with you, be safe. Take it easy, relax, right? Just enjoy it. And like I said, if you're interested in any of these affiliate links down below on the screen, yada yada. And as always, I'm curious to know you guys' thoughts. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse and superpowers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if anyone's interested, I have a look at the new Amazon Gold Label Batman 89 and his Batmobile. Up on my YouTube now. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.